All right, uh, so welcome back to another video. I am going to be going over my experience with gaming on Linux, specifically on Arch Linux and Hyperland. I've been using Hyperland for quite a while now, so if you've, you've been following my videos uh, previously, you know I've used uh, Hyperland, and uh, I have had some interesting, you know, setups with uh, kind of using both Windows and uh, Linux, and you know, streaming between both of the platforms and using like two different PCs and stuff. You can check out my previous videos if you want to see that. Uh, but basically I have made like the full switch and I'm using Linux for everything and just one PC. And I just want to share my experience, how, how things have gone, you know, just gaming and doing everything on Linux and specifically Hyperland or everything gaming on my computer. Um, so yeah, so let's just uh, jump right into it. Yeah, so my experience has been uh, pretty good overall. Um, so just kind of jumping right into it. Overall, it's been pretty good. I haven't had any like major issues. The games I do play have been pretty much running like right out of the box. Right now, I'm really just playing uh, the finals and Marvel Rivals. Occasionally, I'll play um, Karg Street, and the only single player game right now I'm playing is uh, Ghost, of, Ghost of Shutsima. And all these run great. Like, there's no issues, they all run very smooth. Um, I really didn't have any issues getting them running. I think Marvel Rivals, I had to possibly change. Uh, no, actually, I'm just using the regular. <laughs> um, so I will say I am using Cache OS. Um, so that does come with its own uh, Proton layer, which uses the uh, Proton layer from uh, Cache OS and their, and their optimizations and things um, to get games running. And so I've been using that. I have had no issues. Everything's just been kind of running, you know, great out of the box as far as the, the games I am playing. And both these do have anti-cheat and they do work fine. I will say like COD not work through that. But for that, I do use Boosteroid, which is a pretty uh, simple process as well. You basically just have to install Boosteroid either through the AOR or as a web app. And I can show you here that it works pretty well. Um, I did do a video on this that you can you can watch the actual gameplay um, of it, but you can pretty much play a lot of different games. You can honestly play Marvel Rivals: The Finals um, through here. But this is what I particularly use um, to play Call of Duty when I do play it. But I haven't played it, you know, in a while recently, and it runs pretty much um, on par with when I was streaming directly to my PC. Um, I haven't really, you know, noticed any hiccups or anything like that. So. Um, that is a way to run those anti-cheat games if you just want to, you know, solely run um, on Linux itself. Um, but really what I really love about, you know, gaming on Hyperland is um, everything's really smooth and being able to like jump between windows and everything is really smooth. Like I, I can open, um, I'm going to open Marvel Rivals real quick and kind of show you how this works. All right, so I can show you that this is, um, you know, opening you know, full screen um, on my computer here. And everything does seem to just run, you know, really well of it. I really had no issues with that. But what I really like about it is that I can just still switch between my desktops, you know, very easily. And everything's still, you know, very smooth when I do switch that. And you can even switch between tiled and untiled and it's still responsive. Like everything still is you know, working smoothly uh, within a tile. So if I wanted to, you know, jump out of it real quick and like check something on a different um, app or a desktop or go to, you know, browse something or do whatever I want to do, go to my, my other monitor uh, to my left over here, I can do that and everything's still just running smooth. I can actually, you know, make this go back, you know, full screen very easily. I can move it to a different workspace if I wanted to. So that right now, as you can see now, this one's still on the workspace with the um, a Steam that was open. But if I want to move this to, you know, a different workspace, very smooth, um, just moves right over. And now it's on its, uh, you know, separate workspace. I'm able to switch back and forth very easily um, and have no, e no, no issues. Everything's really smooth. I know there is an option or a key binding you can change um, to turn off all the animations that Hyperland provides uh, when you are gaming. So it's like game mode. Um, essentially, but I mean, I have a 4070 um, NVIDIA card, so it, there really is no reason to have to turn off the animations. But if you do have a uh, lower graphics, then 
you, you can with the Kiva and turn off all the animations. Uh, so that way you can very easily just like have a very smooth experience without having any hiccups um, if you do want to, to, you know, run it on Hyperloom like that. But yeah, I mean, everything just runs, you know, very smooth. It, it's, there really is no issues that I have. I can run into a quick match here and show you how, you know, how smooth it runs. But I do think that there really is no reason to, you know, not give it a try if you haven't already. I haven't tried all games, so there are going to be some games that you have to do a little bit more um, work to get working. But for the most part, you know, most games these days, uh, especially with, you know, Valve and everything working on the, the Steam Deck, most games kind of just, you know, run out of the box unless there's some type of anti-cheat or something that is preventing it from running. But um, other than that, I don't I don't see any reason why. I don't see any re reason why you would need to um, run anything else. And if you do uh, run into issues, you can always use like Boosteroid or NVIDIA uh, GeForce Now. I know there's some GeForce Now stuff that is kind of, you know, people are kind of upset about with the whole uh, limiting the amount of hours that you can, you're running on and um, then throttling your, you know, game um, once you reach those hours or kicking out after 30 minutes. There's a bunch of different stuff that is doing right now, but um, Boosteroid seems to be running pretty well. You know, I like it and it, it runs... Um, it runs well. You just have to have a good, you know, decent internet connection to do it. But other than that, I would just say, you know, just give it a shot. There's really nothing you're losing out on. You're really gaining, in my opinion, um, you know, switching, uh, maybe getting off of Windows or um, whatever, you know, system that you're, you're currently using. And yeah, as you can see, I'm, you know, recording and playing this. There's no stuttering issues or everything smooth i should have put the fps up in the corner but i normally get pretty good fps as well Pushing up quite a bit here. Yeah, they're telling us to fall back. I agree. Yeah. We'll see if this next one, sometimes it turns around and maybe we'll get, uh, get put in a choke hold here. Before you attack, 
Um, also, as you can see, I do um, play in controller. Um, I like to use controller with uh, gyro. And I will say the only thing that I have had experience with is connecting Bluetooth controllers. It does not really work on Hyperland. You know, when I was on KDE or um, another desktop, I was able to connect, you know, Bluetooth controllers on Linux just fine uh, without any issues. Uh, but I have not been able you successfully connect um, Bluetooth controller to my Hyperland desktop and I'm not sure what the issues is I tried different packages and and Bluetooth itself works um, I can connect Bluetooth headsets and stuff like that but it just doesn't recognize my controller in Steam for Steam input and the controller does actually connect but other than that it does not I can't get it to work so not really sure what's going on there but There you go, push him up again. Save you when you're that far back. too easy but yeah as you can see everything runs smoothly controller works great i can run mouse and keyboard as well everything you know runs very smooth don't really have any issues um overall just the bluetooth thing uh, as far as you know getting controllers connected to the bluetooth if that's something that you do I did have issues with that oh uh, dang it i didn't get an mvp i mean she got 31 kills so i guess that 31 i know yeah if you have if you are considering you know um trying Arch and Hyperland um, for gaming. I definitely say, you know, give it a go. I will say I do have a pretty good um, graphics card, so I haven't had any issues there. So I haven't tried this on a, you know, lower end PC, but I would suggest, you know, giving it a go and, and, and trying it out. In the worst case, you can go back to whatever you're, you're currently using um, now. Um, so no, no harm, no foul. But yeah, if you um, enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.